We're tracking a potent cold front here in the southeast. Not only will that bring us some heavier rainfall, but as we head through the end of the week, it is going to bring us some much cooler temperatures, something that we haven't seen much of here so far this uh, season. But of course, temperatures at ahead of that front still pretty warm into the uh, 5 to 10, almost 15 degrees above average range, but that colder air is not far away. In fact, as that cold front pushes south, we're going to see those temperatures begin to fall throughout much of the afternoon. Now, readings today in Florida are still above average by uh, a few degrees anyway in the low to mid 80s. Jacksonville at 79, not too bad in Columbia today at 73 and 77 in Mobile, but this is where our bigger changes will be occurring earlier today as that colder air settles on south. Watch what happens as we take you into Wednesday and Thursday. That blue starts to settle on in, and that's that colder air. So by Thursday, daytime highs here across much of the region will be a below average by 5 to uh, 10 or 15 degrees. We still may be a little bit above average over uh, the southern tip of Florida, where uh, readings will be into the 80s. But look at Jacksonville, 57 degrees, only looking at 40s as you head farther north in Atlanta and Birmingham, Nashville at 44. A big temperature drop, and then the extended outlook suggests that colder air will linger into the second or third week of December. So there's our shower and possibly even nice added thunderstorm chance. It is going to be lingering over these areas over the next few days. So total amounts of liquid could be approaching an inch, maybe even two, as you work into the eastern portions of North Carolina.